Hi everyone, my name is Yanni and I'm going to do let's play video for Spring Dots. Spring Dots is a simple puzzle game that is this genre. It can be played on tap screen, so it is also a mobile game which can be played on tablets and phones. So let's get started. So <clears throat> when we reach the first level, we are guided to draw a line. So we know how to start the first level like this one. For its magic circle, we only need to make the blue dot and the pink dot hit each other by drawing lines or images. And then we press the next button to pass this level. So when we come to the second level, we just need to draw a triangle to make them bump together. By the way, the game was developed by Chance Limits and released in last year. The first several levels are simple and easy, and then things get more interesting and trickier in later levels. Although using technically exactly the same principles as before, um, you can use twice or more X to move both dots towards each other, and with the right timing, they might conflict. And the reason for the difficulties is that we get more various types of barriers, and they have their different attributes like the stones we got before and this iron gauze um, so we cannot draw any lines in this iron gauze area and we also got get some pulleys like this one so i just show how it works So there are also some rules to win a game. The basic rule is based on real life physics. The dots and the lines we draw all have weight and will freely fall like in real life. Another rule is that the line draw we are broken if they cross other objects, as I show. And also if the ball hits the screen boundary, the ball will break and you will fail like this one <clears throat> but failing the game is not much of an issue because starting up again is quite fast and you can retry each level as many times as you need so if you find it is very difficult for one level you can press the hint button to find out the solution and press yes so you just follow the hint to draw a line. Oops, I think I didn't draw it appropriately. It might not work. Yeah, that's something. No, it didn't work. So I should press the refresh button and try it again. Yeah, this time is much better. Yeah, got it. Different pens become available for purchase within game currency and earned by passing levels previously, which can provide more accuracy. And after you figure a level out, there is an option to share your solution with your friends using Twitter, Facebook or something. There is no limit to what you can do in the game. You just get as basic or as creative as you can and the what 
important is that the two dogs end up hitting each other and you win. Lastly, finishing on a positive impression is also important. So when going through the menu to leave, Bring Dogs shows the player the artworks they made during their play session. And this is all my work in each levels. So next part is online content, so I need to open up my Wi-Fi first. Um, Another interesting for this game is that you can design your own stage and share with others. So I can choose a model and decide the shape and size of the barriers. Like this one, I can do whatever I want. So this requires more imagination and creativity. And you also need to provide a solution for your stage. And you can also see other people's design. Right here. They might be complex or simple and or cute like this one. It's actually very simple, not difficult, but as you can see the picture is cute. Actually, I like this design and make them bump. As for its business, it has a lot of advertisements between tries if you open up your Wi-Fi. But they are not so long and easy to close but still quite intrusive. The game can find out and learn change your logical thinking and flexibility of your mind so the game is very attractive especially for children and females as well as people who enjoy brain type puzzles um, children can training their brain by playing this game and help their intellectual growth and when i saw for different code level I will get a great sense of achievement as well so the problem solving and uh, creativity is the source of fun for this game most of target audience are casual gamers for example a um, busy college girl might like this game because she can play the game on the bus or during waiting for someone because it doesn't cost much time for your playing. So that's it. Thank you for your watching.